how to switch between multiple profiles in Google Chrome. I'm going to jump right into this by going up to the top right corner of Google Chrome and you'll see I have a little avatar and when I click on that little avatar you'll see that I have some options here. I can manage my Google account, I can customize a profile, I can turn on sync so that it syncs my bookmarks, my logins, and other things that I use in Google Chrome. The same things that I may have used at home and may also like to use at work. So these are all important things, but I may want to use different Google accounts. For example, I may have a Gmail account for home use, a school district account for work, and I may also want to log in with another account. For example, in the school district, I may need to log in as a student to see what may be wrong with a particular student account. And these different accounts in Google Chrome are called profiles. As you can see right here, I have other Chrome profiles listed. So to set up a new Chrome profile and then be able to flip back and forth between multiple Google accounts, what you would do is click Add Chrome Profile. And then you would need to log in with that email address and password. Here's just one example. I'm going to log in with a demo account that we use here in our school district. So as soon as I enter that, it will allow me to log in to Google Chrome with that profile. I'll click Next. And then I have that option to turn on Sync, where I can sync bookmarks, autofill for forms, all the Chrome extensions for that account, the web history, and more. So I'll click Yes, I'm in, and I'll do that. Now that student's Google account is available to me in my Google Chrome browser. So now, if I wanted to, I could click on that same little icon in the top right corner, and I could jump back over to one of my other Chrome profiles. So here's Mark, my work account. I can click on that and jump right back to where I was earlier. Now, if I clicked on that icon again, my avatar for my school district, I could come down here right under Add Chrome Profile and click Manage Chrome Profiles. This will allow me to delete any of the profiles I set up earlier. If I wanted to rename one of my profiles, I could click on the three dotted button, click Edit, and I'll rename it Work. I can also come down and pick a different avatar if I want to, but I've already got my picture there. But any of these avatars would work. When you're done, just click the back arrow and close the tab. Come back up here again, and the next time I go into Manage Chrome Profiles, you'll see that it now says Work. So from this list, I'm now in my Work Profile. If I want to go back to my Home Profile, I can do that. I'm going to change the name of this one to Mark Home. and jump back again to my work account. If I wanted to go back to my student account that I just set up, I can do that as well. So you can see how powerful this is. And notice how the bookmark bar and color scheme is different for each profile. Now, if I wanted to delete this profile from my browser, I would just come up to the avatar, click on the smaller of the two icons, click on Manage Chrome Profile, and now I could come to the student demo account, click on the three dotted button and choose delete. And then delete. Now that one is gone. I can close it and I'm back to my work profile. Now one more thing I wanted to mention about profiles. If I go into a Google Doc, for example, there's a larger icon here for any of my Google Docs or Google Apps it's larger than the icon above it in Google Chrome. When we've created the Chrome profiles, we've been using the smaller of the two icons here. This one, however, if I were to click on it, it's a little different than what you would see here. This is for Chrome. This is for Google Docs, Google Drive, and any of the Google apps. I would not recommend that you add accounts here, although you could sign out and you could add an account. 
It just works a lot better if you come up to the smaller of the two icons, the one in Google Chrome, and change profiles or add profiles from this menu here. It gives you a lot more control and the overall experience will be much more consistent. So that's a look at Chrome profiles and how you can switch back and forth between them in the Google Chrome browser. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.